each pivot table, we need to create pivot chart. Okay, pivot chart for each of this table. Okay, so the first pivot table, insert, insert, now click pivot chart. Okay, so cells. Okay, click pivot chart. Plus data label. Okay, the title change to total cells. Series. Okay. Next, second pivot table. Insert pivot chart. Choose different design. Bar chart. Okay. Bar chart. Add data labels. Okay. I would, I would like to change the color. Choose design. Change color. I choose yellow for product series. Total. Change the total. Product series in units thirdly year and total cells insert pivot chart ok choose different design so add oops eight Data label. Okay, change the title. Year and total sales. Okay, choose your design. Before chart tools, design. Inspector. Okay. One, two, three, four. Next, for the two dimension, insert. Give a chart. Okay. Add data labels. Okay. Change your design. Last one. Insert. Give a chart. Different design. Okay. Give a chart tools. Need to change the color. Label. Okay, change the title to Yes and Robert C. Oops, I'm going to spell it. 
in units. So we have done our pivot table, pivot chart and slices. Next, click slices, double click, double click product series, okay, right click, report connection, click report connection, tick all, tick all, tick all, okay, for year, Report connection, tick all, okay, region, double click, right click, report connection, tick all, okay. You done now the purpose why we have this filter because we want to have a quick summary of specific results okay let me demo I click choose so the result change shakes this is a quick summary of shakes for three year period of time soda okay the data change now if you see uh, not all button are turned on now turn on all the button press control click smoothies shakes and choose now you will have your slicer turn on for all button okay, let me click 2016 so the data change can you see north so this is a quick summary for north results. Now turn on on the all button, control, release. Press control, click, release. Okay, so we have complete all the question. Now the last part is to touch up our results. Delete the equation. So we have gap here. Now select G2M. G2L. Delete. Okay, delete. Now adjust size. Adjust size. Now for the first column, insert, again insert, so we have space, now click insert function, shapes, so like to use this shape as our header or title. Edit text, rename it as a Excel dashboard. Product series. And sales region for the year of 2016, 2017, and 2018. Centralize the sentence home. Change font type. Okay, now select 
A until Z. Find your cursor to fill color. So you can use whatever color that you want. So I want to use white to make sure that the data can be seen easily. Nice. So this is our Excel dashboard. So for your tutorial, I wish you good luck and all the best. Thank you.